The Factorio devs reached out to me saying, Yo sauce man, we heard you liked Factory Game. We think of you as a beta- Wait, 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 what? Testing candidate for Space Age. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Please play Factory Game Space Age and tell us what you think. I agreed and I booted up, but there's a problem. I was on vacation for most of that week, so I was limited in what I could experience. Thankfully, I had just enough time to experience new, new content. content, and I'm here to show you exclusive behind-the-scenes experience with the testing I did. Thank you, Wubei, the creators of Factorio, for inviting me. I'm having a ton of fun in the ongoing beta testing scene, and I can't wait to play Space Age with my friends. All right, if you're watching this, I am playing from October 3rd. I am far in the past. I am on a very old version, not very old. I'm on an old version of Factorio Beta 1.2.27. I don't have very much time, but let's see. Let's see what's in here. Oh, <laughs> thinks it's like a virus. That would be so funny. Factorio team just takes all this effort to send us a virus. Oh, 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 it's I'm so excited. Oh, there is a lot of people in the Discord. There's a Discord for uh, beta testers, and there's people who, where I'm like, hey, you're, you're the guy who like writes the Factorio Friday fun facts, writing memes. You're the guy who's got like, you know, a lot of people who watch you on YouTube. You're, you know, all this stuff. And it's, it's honestly incredible. Um, I also don't have that much time for right now, but I guess I have to log in. Okay, just spent forever. <laughs> Figuring out how to reset a password. Okay, I like the music. It's gotta, unfortunately, get out of here. I'll leave the game effects. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Okay, so you, you, when you start out, you kind of are looking at different planets that can have different distributions of resources. That's kind of interesting. Looks like you set it, the, the same settings go to both planets. Interesting. It's sort of like a spoiler for all of these. Uh, I'll just keep these default. There's something very specific I want to try, honestly. I think there are people who have time, they want to like plow through and, and do a full playthrough of this game, but uh, I unfortunately do not have the time to do that. Plus, I got a group of people I want to be playing with, <laughs> so I actually kind of just want to start testing things. Kind of just clicking around, I don't, don't exactly know how to do all this stuff, but... So basically what I'm looking for is the controls on how to actually make the game go, which I forgot, <laughs> but should be in the controls somewhere. I'm in editor and I just, I want to make the game go and I want to get to a very specific planet and I want to do some very specific things on that planet. Gotcha. Okay, so I can, okay, so we always crash land here. Okay, interesting. They added broken. I like that. New tip inserters. Hmm, hello. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. All right, I'm way too excited for this. Probably should have turned off fighters, but wait, can I go like delete these guys? Hey, get out of here. I'm so used to this menu having so much stuff in it. I'm like, where's all the stuff? How come we don't have all the stuff? Why aren't there 400 things in this menu? It <laughs> just, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, it shows you. Oh, okay. Again, way too excited for this. That's so good for new players. Oh, Oh, look at that. She got there. I'm having I'm having fun just, just making it happen. Look at these things. Oh, and then they, they sits down when he's done. Literally just a sprite moving and I am <laughs> fucking can't handle it. Okay. All right, that should be like pretty good. All right, I'm just guessing these go into these. Oh, these guys are shit, like, kind of thick. Okay, like that. So you're mining scrap. Do these not want scrap? Okay, so these just give you back 25% of whatever the thing was, okay. Um, fucking Factorio meets a roller coaster tycoon. Oh. Very cool. Not 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 for now. I've, I've got, got a thing I wanna try. 
Oh my god, what? Oh, that's so cool. I, I feel like I knew this was a thing, but harnessing the lightning. Let's go. This creature requires food and will slowly starve if not fed. It will transform upon starvation. It can be captured by targeting what? <laughs> or Farmville? Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, do we crush the scrap? No. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I like this. You do a scrap. I just like assume everything's the same as K2SE. What? What the hell is <laughs> We Farmville now. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so scrap gets recycled in K2SE. I can't for the life of me figure out what you do with scrap after you mine it. <laughs> I can't just like Google it. Capacity. Okay, <laughs> maybe this just isn't what I thought it'd be. <laughs> Loaders. <gasps> Total idiot and ask the Discord what I do with scrap. Remember how to research oh my god i've been here for 30 minutes doing nothing oh it's so embarrassing it's out it's a console command we gotta be cheaters oh did it work no <laughs> god damn it hey okay okay now we're cooking with gas now we're we're getting there all right look at this i can okay cool um what I want to do is measure the distribution of what this thing makes and test it to make sure it makes sense. Um, uh, can't, you need to have inserters for this, I'm guessing. Where are my wires at? Where are the wires at? Oh, gotcha. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you could oh, 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 you could just, oh my, oh, oh, these are so cool now. Oh, and they can do multiple outputs. Oh my, I feel like I should know this. I feel like this is part of one of the Friday Factorio fun packs, but I, it's just, there've been so many of them. I can't keep track of all of them. Holmium? Oh, no. Disgusting. First thing I do is make a graph. <laughs> uh, yes. A1, baby. Well, this is what we came here for. RGB histogram custom <laughs> of the recycler output. Beautiful. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yes. All right, day two. Wasn't able to play yesterday, but it is October 5th. Last time I played, I was able to make my histogram RGB. Very nice. Happy about it. Excited to jump in. We're on a new version. They're updating pretty regularly. Looks like I have to do this again. Understandable. All right, today I want to screw around with trains. Uh, there's a fundamental thing that hopefully I'll be able to use when I play with a bunch of people and try to convince new players to play the game and have a format for them to not get super lost once things start scaling up and also play independent and in a way that they can scale properly. So that essentially is going to be some type of train blueprint. I'm going to try to do it without LTN because we have train interrupts now, but I want to see if I can make a city block blueprint that fits into chunks. I've never done it before. I've never even really used chunk based blueprints. So hopefully we can get something interesting going here and also it'd be good to find some bugs 
uh, in case there's any out there, I think there's a lot of testing on trains. Um, there's a lot of people as we're doing testing who are doing quite a lot with the trains. Um, it's one of the most popular things people are talking about. So a lot of these bugs probably have been found, but at the very least, I'll get uh, I'll get some idea of what making this blueprint is gonna look like. I think I have some interest from some people who might even want to make the blueprint who are more experienced with the game and they'll be doing that while I try to manage every thing that's happening but yeah let's let's just turn enemies off and jump in and see what it's like apparently there's just a setting for show tile grid as i said i've never really cared about these tiles there we go okay so the idea is gonna be can we fit a nice two-way rail <clears throat> two-way rail system in in a chunk and of course this requires a bit of hacking and there we go. Should have all my stuff now. Wow, you can zoom out pretty... F this is a lot farther, I feel like. Cool. Okay, that doesn't leave you with that much space. Especially because we're going to need some type of train station in here. Wonder if we make each four chunks. That's pretty big. It is nice that you can do these S bends now, though. So much more flexibility. getting this out of the way early i thought this would be a lot more straightforward like i'd have a better idea of how to do this but trains aren't exactly my specialty so good to get this out of the way early this is gonna take more thought than i thought unless we do single train i guess the idea here is train unloads we do stuff it goes over and then we have this identical but on the other side but it's a pickup but I would really like to have at least two train cars i'm also thinking when trains come in happen on the ground or on the secondary level and then the out happen up top something like this they come in and then they leave up top i don't know if that gives you room because i don't know if you can stack these on top of each other okay you cannot because this needs to be a full full concrete Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, interesting. These are a two by two, four by four, and the rail is two in width. Interesting. This isn't quite enough, though, because I want a rail to, or a signal to signify trains can go past if there's one loading. So there's some work to do here. Seems like most people, at least some people, make a three by three block. Seeing some wicked blueprints. starting to get why people love trains so much i've always liked them but never really been my strong suit this is this oh man oh 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 would be cool if this could ride right in the middle might be too much to ask for yeah what okay so it works cool love it hell yeah
Oh, these hang up above? Oh, that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Selector Combinator. Okay, this is actually super helpful. It's actually very hard to count the distinct number of input signals. I'm glad that this is here to do that. This is fun for gambling. <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, cool. You so you can just select the first signal. Huh. Very cool. My live recording got a little bit screwed up here, but the idea was to stress test my blueprint by having single-headed trains with single cargo wagons bring materials to and from different stations to see if there were any kinks or there were any issues with throughput. After a few tweaks, I was pretty happy with this design. I don't think it's perfect. I think some things to improve include allowing the load and unload stations to be a little bit more independent. But overall, I like the progress that I have here. I think when I hand this off to somebody who knows more about trains and they wanna make tweaks or just redesign it entirely even, this will at least be a good foundation for the city block design I had in mind with incorporating the new bridge system to increase throughput, but also because it's cool and I want to build trains with bridges, even if it doesn't do anything. Everybody wants trains with bridges, they're cool, and I can't wait to build more with this feature. All right, day three. Yes, indeed, I would like to run this amazing virus on my computer, thank you. So last time I was working on a train system that was interesting to say the least. I think there's a lot of potential with the rails that go above the, the ramp rails. I think there's a lot of potential there and I've only scratched the surface. There's a lot of things to try. We'll see, I'm, I'm just talking from memory. I might as well go into the actual scenario and take a look. Maybe this boy goes here on the outside and frees up some space for this to go on the inside, but maybe not because these take up some space and it'd be better for these to take up space on the inside where you could sneak stuff through versus on the outside where it's a solid train track on the ground. We'll see. But that is not why I'm here today. He, I want to see if I can make a task list, like a Jira board or DevOps. A Kanban board is the general name for it. And there's a very special, a special reason for it. Uh, when I actually played through this game, I'm going to have a lot of people who are newer to the game playing. And I want to help them get an idea of what the next thing we need to do is without having to jump through a bunch of menus if there's like eight people doing eight things. I think that could get very complicated. So I wanna play around with the idea of making a task list, but it's on the actual world so people can see it and I can go and update it and I can say, you know, 
this thing is in progress this thing needs to be completed here's some things that were completed i could even i've even thought about giving a point system for it but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see if, if this this causes a mutiny for all the people who are like this is just like my day job i'm going to start destroying things and sabotaging the factory as a result of your decision to put this out here i'm also going to make it totally optional i don't even it, it, it it's mostly to get the idea across to people of like here's things you can do you don't have to do these things like if you, if you want to go play with sand and make a sand castle like go live your best life but if you're curious about pushing us to the next level, this task list can help us get there. Anyway, there are these things, these display panels, and we put them down and get them to show certain icons. So you can do that and then you can be like, hey, please stop. And then you can have it show. And then when you hover over it, look at how helpful that is. Anyway, when I, when I actually start making the task list, I think I'm gonna have a mod installed. We can't really do mods right now in the in the beta testing, but I want a mod installed for push buttons so we can, you know, super far away, you can like push a button to cause a thing to be activated because it's like kind of how like a Kanban board works in the real world. You like click buttons and drag things around. I don't think we'll get to like dragging things around, but who knows? Well, uh, I'm gonna play around with it. Also without text plates, this is, I already mentioned that, but it's gonna be a little difficult. I'm gonna get creative. That does not look like a D. It's good enough. That gets the point across. There, to do. There we go, yeah. Let me get my icon out of the way. You go into the map view, you're like over here working on this iron mine. You're like, ah, oh, I just completed this iron mine. Ah, the to-do list. <laughs> what is there to do? Then you come out of map view and then you scroll up and then there should be stuff under here. I haven't played around with these much. Didn't know if they're the best thing to be using, but I don't know, it might be kind of fun. Oh my God, wait, <laughs> we, could, we could actually put some sick music in here. Oh, am I gonna spend today fucking making EDM in Factorio for when we ac accomplish a task? Oh my, yeah, maybe. Hell yeah. All right, enough of that shit. All right, well, let's track that up as a work in progress. In case you're wondering, yes, RGB is actually the thing to develop with everything that we're doing from now on. So the to-do list is, it, it, it's good enough already. All right, finally did it. Uh, not gonna talk about how long that took me. I know my place. I know my place in the YouTube diet. I'm not, I'm not the guy you turn on so you can learn something. I'm the guy you turn on when, you know, mom's not home and the lights are down low and you, you know, I, I, I'm, I get it, all right? Actually, it sounds kind of weird. There's Never mind. Okay, I mean, this is the planet I will want to go to. All right, we know the song and dance. Sorry, music. 
maybe another day okay all right probably still don't need to think about enemies for this one i think we'll be okay there all right let's start to think about a quality setup I'm gonna have to get used to not having bobs inserters. That's gonna be a little weird. Something I've just like never done is really set out a good use for the toolbar. I usually just put random stuff I'm using at the moment there and then hope in the future I'm gonna use them. It's not always the case. All right, what we're doing here, we're gonna try and make a legendary gears. Probably the easiest, most straightforward thing, but we'll see how difficult it is. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, okay, interesting. All right, let's pretend we're actually dropping off iron ore here so we can go start to finish the whole process. There's a trick you can do with these, I believe. Although they unload so fast, it doesn't really matter. Okay. And if I didn't explain these before, these infinity chests just allow you to spawn as many items as you want. So we're gonna pretend that a train is constantly dropping off the iron ore that we want because right now I'm just, uh, it's not about solving the iron ore issue. Oh, these are, these are stack inside. Okay. So they're waiting for a full stack. Gotcha. Right. So what I really want unloading is these bulk inserters. That makes sense. I gotta be really careful with these. Gotta make sure I only am using the bulk. Okay, so this is like the de facto way to trash your stuff. Can you not trash uncommon? Okay, so it looks like I'm getting some amount of uncommons. I'm getting some rares, but man, I, I don't, I feel like I haven't even gotten close to any legendaries. I haven't even hit, what would this be? The, the epic, barely, barely hit uncommons and rares. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Okay, so not that this is the most smelting you can do, but it'll take a lot of effort to get a legendary. Like with these bad boys all going, <laughs> a one rare plate that is absurd and these are these are quality module threes these should be like the top of the top oh wait some of these some of these just straight up don't have quality modules in them okay that should change it a little bit still i mean the nice thing about this is that at least when you're trying to make this happen you can you can save up all your uncommons and rares and epics and legendaries and there isn't really an opportunity cost until you actually spend them. However, Power Armor Mark II, making all of the stuff that go into that and making it legendary is gonna be absurd. Okay, but the legendary does have a 15 by 15 grid. Man, I'm just gonna try not to get used to that. Yeah, this really is like, I have too much of something and I need to, and I need to get it going. And the recycler is just gonna turn the iron back into iron unless, you know what? Actually, these can be quality module too. I should have thought of that. Oh, you could have a legendary quality module i did not even think of that that must take fucking forever though but that's probably is the way to do this i'm just gonna use normal for now that's more realistic right without bob's inserters you can't just uh do whatever you want oh uh, that's uh okay i'm getting it a bit more because you can with the recyclers you can you can also do the quality thing it's it's a lower you have one fourth the chance but what else are you gonna do with this iron all right not the prettiest thing ever but this i'm getting the hang of what you're i think you're supposed to do you quality everything and then when you get a normal result you try and quality that again and i wonder i wonder if you get a better quality chance if you try to quality the uncommons and rares that you get i wonder if that's worth it okay interesting recycling your uncommons okay that's got to be the way to do this i feel like the rate of getting these higher rarity 
is so much higher. So really what you can do is just shove everything into these, unless it's legendary, and then just recycle away until you get, until you get your legendaries. I'll take that as a confirmation. God damn. All right, so the idea here is iron comes into this line, gets smelted into plates, has a chance to become higher rarity, comes through here. If it's not legendary, it gets slammed. All right, let me try that again. Uh, <laughs> iron ore comes in, gets smelted with quality, comes onto the belt, comes through. It's legendary. It'll get sent through here, be turned into a legendary gear of which we have one because these cost two. So I've made two legendary iron with this so far. These are quality module threes, but they're not quality module three legendaries. So they're they could be about three or four times better, but making a lot of them sounds like it'll take a lot of time. It might be that what you do is you just make a lot of quality stuff until you can make better quality modules and now with a three times better chance of making legendaries and whatnot then you go for it it might also be to make these at uncommon as fast as you can put those into the things that are making the quality modules make them at the next rarity which i think is rare and then at epic and you just keep you just keep feeding that cycle so you have these at legendary and then you make quality of other stuff but that also could take forever there's probably a balancing point maybe you make these at uncommon because it's fairly easy anyway i'm only using quality modules but the the point is if <laughs> if you're not legendary you get recycled stuff that's higher in rarity if it gets recycled with quality it has a higher chance to become legendary from what it looks like that's kind of cool this isn't ratioed but i'm excited for playing around with this more if we find a place that has just way too much resources nothing to do with them this is perfect all right well cool to see what this looks like in not a perfect scenario but a, in a in a very nice scenario knowing that these elusive legendary iron gears are gonna take some patience very cool space age releases october 21st 2024 stay tuned for my group playthrough starting that week as always algorithm, algorithm interactions are encouraged thank you